anytime you look at actors who have these transformations for roles, yeah. let's forget even uh, forget Hollywood. Think even in terms of Bollywood. I don't know if you remember, but at one point, uh, Shah Rukh Khan had this major body transformation where he had the eight pack or the six pack abs and everyone was all you know impressed by this he was an older guy at the time he wasn't like in tw- his 20s or 30s he was much older this was for that. om shanti om he did that uh weird as item number yeah yeah just uh, for a dance disco i remember that Dar- <laughs> <laughs> was the weirdest shit right yeah but this is back when we were what we must have been in our 20s and we yeah. were seeing this live on tv or but you know I'm glad you mentioned it because uh, what Shah Rukh is close to being 60 now, now yeah. uh, right? And his movie Patan just released three days ago, and one of the highlights is him and John Abraham having like eight packs. Now at 60, he at has 60 he has an eight pack. Like Shah Rukh, he's bare bodied right. in half the film. Apparently, right. I haven't watched it. But, like, you see the shots. Of course, that's a highlight, right? Shah Rukh Khan's comeback. And at 60, he has that. And I'm, I'm like, come on, dude. <laughs> I mean, Bollywood actors, I think the trend was started by to some extent by Salman Khan. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the original frame who started with the whole bare body action hero. And then, of yeah. course, it was taken to a whole different level of bodybuilding and stuff by Hrithik Roshan. Like, yeah. insane, you know? First of its kind to be a full, you know, mega star with that kind of a physique. Like, he is the official Greek god of Bollywood. And I remember being so influenced as a child, looking at that and doing everything I possibly can and not getting even 1% of the results expected. Because his trainer is Chris Gethin. Yes, Chris Kethen is a world-renowned trainer and bodybuilding athlete. Um, and he did this thing where he trained with the Groshin in 12 weeks to get into shape. You don't... I understand that muscle memory is a thing, but when you have such short spans that somebody has to suddenly just overnight turn into this eight-pack Greek god, I refuse to believe that it's all natural. Now you know that. I mean, back now, then... Now, Yes. Yeah, back then, you just think that I'm not of the same species as this person because there's <laughs> no way, right? Even with the right eating and the, like, you can try and follow. And this is the part where it gets a little controversial is people like Chris Hemsworth have apps, Centerfit or whatever his app is called. That he just sold for, it. he's just sold well, it for $200 million. Right, right. And the basis of that app is what? You can get Chris Hemsworth body if you exactly. train the way he does using these you know you can follow along and train like him but the problem is you can't get like that <laughs> no. he's also including a subscription to whatever <laughs> he's shooting himself up with along the way yeah to get those results uh yeah. and that's that's the part where you know uh, i feel like a lot of young men fall prey to people like liver king who yeah. will sell you the same message that, you know, it's possible. Forget about the testosterone here. Eat some liver. Eat some raw liver or raw bull testicles or whatever it is that he was feeding people. And you might end up looking the way I do. And the guy clearly looked like he was on every single thing that you can possibly be on. I think the one thing we should clarify is that it, even if you do juice up and if you're on TRT or whatever, uh, it's still a lot of work. You still have to put in the hours at the gym. You still have to have a very clean diet. You still have to have uh, a lot of discipline. Um, And I think if you are an individual who are doing that and putting yourself out there on Instagram because you're proud of the kind of physique you have, I don't think it's anyone's business, you know, whatever you do. I think the problem arises when you're trying to make a profit off of that. Because then you're you're scamming the person. You're You're lying the person. It's false it's advertising. False, right. uh, that's the part. I was listening to a podcast with um, Dax Shepard and I think it was Scott Galloway, who's this professor of marketing at NYU. Uh, Dax actually told uh, the professor that you know he had recently decided that he wanted to transform his body. Because he said he had, I mean, Dax Shepard's tall. He must be 6'2", 6'3". Yeah. And he said he had been 180 pounds pretty much his whole life. And he really wanted to look bigger. It was something that he really wanted. 
and so he started doing testosterone he started you know trt and he's very open about it and he said you can look at me from you know a few years ago before covid and now yeah. i've been working out i put in the effort though he definitely yeah, absolutely yeah but he's being very open with the fact that the only way i could have gone past that 180 plateau i was working out before that but the only way i could put on this muscle mass was because i was on trt mm-hmm.